In this short video, we're going to introduce the MPLAB data visualizer. We'll raw plot our ADC values, bumping up the frequencies to show the changing values more clearly. Demonstrate various plot options, then leave you with a series where you can learn more. We continue where we left off in video 2 of the series, where we modified a Picanavia or GitHub example using MCC. Just like with MCC, you'll find the data visualizer under Tools Plugins. So currently our project sends a printf string with an updated ADC value once a second. We made this modification in the MCC video, adding UR2, which is connected to the USB CDC on this Curiosity Nano's embedded debugger. Looking at an overview, we configured the UART on the target to the CNano's embedded debugger, which, if you look at your computer's device manager, is recognized as a Curiosity virtual COM port. The printf was sent to the terminal. Here we will raw stream unsigned int 8-bit ADC values. First thing we're going to do is bump up the frequency again. So we'll sample every 100 milliseconds and reduce the prescaler to 64. Now we can generate code and then in main instead of a printf we need to just send a raw ADC value to the UART. So looking in the UART driver under navigator here we can find a UART write function. See MPLAB Essentials Editor Navigation for more tips and tricks on navigating projects. Recall that our ADC is right aligned. Consulting the device data sheet, we see that we get an effective 8 bit ADC result if we shift right to bits. So let's go back to the data visualizer before programming. We'll add a raw plot of our USB CDC connection. Naturally, we won't see any meaning for this plot yet, but as we program, the pattern of the raw ASCII strings gives way to more meaningful 8 bit ADC values. As the programming completes, the first thing we notice is that we don't get any usefulness out of the ASCII values, so we are able to change those to hex. Next, I'll demonstrate some different line modes for the plot. The default is connect with stepped lines, but it is also possible to connect with straight lines or draw only points rather than lines. To learn more about the MPLAB data visualizer, have a look at the visual debugging series. There we cover how you can plot multiple variables or variables with more than 8 bits. In addition, we show you how you can use debug GPIO to trace program flow.